Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iMovie. So let's just get started. Right up here on the top left hand side, you guys will see your Apple logo. So that's up here. Now just click on it and you guys will see the third option where it says App Store. Just click right there. That's your third option and this should pop up. The very last option will be updates so that you will see on the left hand side. And right up here, you guys should see iMovie. And here's the latest version. So you guys click on more. You guys can read all about it. Now it is two gigs, so that means it's quite big for some of you and this could take quite a while to do. If you guys don't see the update here, don't worry about it. Just up here on the top left hand side under search, just type in iMovie. Then let's look for it. And right here, once we see iMovie popping up, we will see update. So we can just click on update and the update will start. So let me just go back to where we were before under updates and we should see iMovie starting to update. Now, how long will this take? Well, it really depends on your internet speed. So if you guys have really, really slow internet, two gigs can take forever. Yes, it could take you 30 minutes, two hours. It really does depend on your internet speed. However, for most of you, this will only take 10 to 15 minutes. Installation time is actually pretty quick. So you guys are not really looking over five minutes installation of the actual update. However, the downloading process that is what takes long. Right here, we can see exactly what's new with iMovie, if it's worth it maybe for you guys to update or not. For most of you, yes. If you guys are in the middle of a project, do not ever update because things can go wrong. And that's why I always suggest making a Time Machine backup before you guys do any updates. Time Machine is something that's set up on your computer already. So here's my Time Machine. And I do have a separate video showing you guys how to manage Time Machine and all that. That's already included in your Mac. It's a program that's pre-installed and you guys can handle that with an external hard drive. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.